so I have decided to buy some solar panels some batteries and stuff I'm a solar panel virgin maybe I've gone a bit over the top I'm gonna to attach it to my shed roof let's see what happens so this is what came with the 200 watt solar panel there it's gonna go on my shed roof out there it came with this which I'm going to have to sort out and put these connectors on charge controller uh, clips to attach it to a frame or I might even just put it straight onto the shed roof I haven't decided yet uh, the box details uh, instructions and the panel I'll unbox that now so I've eventually found a 24 volt bulb there it is it's from an old car parts thing and I've had to wire it up because it's for a full beam and for a small beam if you imagine a headlight on a car um, as I found out in this whole process buying um, a 24 volt system is extremely problematic in this country so I'd advise anyone to uh, maybe think about the 12 volt you wouldn't have to series the batteries up under there if you can see them um, you'd be able to buy bulbs from B&Q rather than getting them from eBay or something on China or car parts but here's the system that's going to go on the roof and here's a charge controller as you can see and I hit the button and bingo we got lights full beam I could rewire it so it's just um, you know the side beam probably less wattage but I'm just happy I've got that fastened up because I've spent loads of money on bulbs and stuff and none of them work so um, my advice is don't spend lots of money on these things start small and and then next step get that on the roof in fact maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna put the inverter in first um, and we'll see how it goes after that this is my solar panel set up. Solar panel, be careful of the wires. For the inverter, which I've wired up. 300 amp fuse for a 300 watt inverter. I've gone a bit over the top on the inverter, but. And 24 volt system. And the light in my shed. There you go. And the Wonder Woman in the garden. Okay. And. Now?